Welcome to Kanga TV and we're post-match at Romvale at our second semi-forum. Uh, I have co-coach uh, Luke Nathan. G'day Baz. <laughs> Luke, what a great game today, what a great result. Can you, can you give us a bit of an insight what happened today? Yeah, sensational day mate. Um, really tough game of footy. Uh, Redcliffe certainly brought the, brought the physical pressure we were expecting and uh, and we managed to absorb it and uh, and uh, and respond and and get the get the win, which was sensational. So yeah, really tough game of footy. So Luke, what what were the instructions today playing against uh, Redcliffe's? Uh, yeah, uh, we knew that, like as I said, we knew they were going to be very physical. Had a few really good ins back in, so we were expecting a real tough game compared to that last minor round game we had against them. And uh, and yeah, just finals footy changes everything. So we just instructed the boys, you know, it's going to be quicker, it's going to be faster. Just be prepared for it and um, and settle as early as we can. And they did did really well and responded. And, and um, yeah, the second half was was the way we wanted to play our footy. So that was pleasing. Yeah, yeah we, we were quietly confident that you know once the game broke, it had been our favour. And Redcliffe's hung it out, real, you know, for a long time. We, you know, second half, it took us to, you know, halfway through the third quarter to really break them, and and um, and once we did that, you know, we managed to get those, that seven goal lead. So that was really pleasing, you know. With a week off, you, you, you never know sometimes how you're going to come back. But the, the way the boys dug deep, and we asked for it at three quarter time, and they delivered it. So yeah, real happy, real happy. The fitness of the boys is terrific. Um, they ran that game right out. You, you'd be pretty pleased with that? Yeah, for sure. We, we, we put in a, a bit of a plan sort of a month or so ago. We, we trained them really hard and, and put the yards in preparing for this. Um, so, yeah, it's the boys' credit. They, they do all the work, really. As coaches, we sort of, oh, Jack's still playing, so he definitely does all the work still too. But I sort, I sort of get to sit back and, and, and watch the boys go. But that, they put the hard yards in and... Um, yeah, we'll have to do that again this week with a week off. So whilst we're, it, it's it's really it's really good to have this week with a few sore bodies. Um, we've still got to do the work to make sure we're ready for grand final, mate. So what's your plan for the next couple of weeks? You got this Saturday off. Um, got any plans for the boys? Uh, yeah. So yeah, we'll, we'll recover tomorrow. Have a recovery session tomorrow, and then uh, it'll be Tuesday, Thursday, and then we'll have a run again next Saturday. Um, and yeah, and then uh, it'll be a, a per grand final or a training week as per normal for, for the grand final. So yeah, um, no, we're we'll, we'll still working pretty hard, but, um, but at the same time, like I said, good to have that week and recover. Now, best players today, mate. Can you reel them up for me? There's got a lot of contributors today. Um, I think we're going through the goal kickers. We had something like seven or eight goal kickers for the day, which is fantastic. Yeah, really good spread as far as goal kickers go. Uh, it's good we didn't rely on Willie and um, and those boys um, entirely. So that was really really pleasing to get a good spread. Um, I, I thought Brad Valance's four quarter effort was sensational. Um, Andy Jardine down back sort of when when we were under the pump in that first half he repelled a lot of football so without him he sort of kept us kept us in amongst it at, um, in that first half and then obviously Josh Gregg um, they really tried to, to knuckle down on him today physically um, um, go after him and the way he responded and played was sensational Mitch Taylor off half back was a real good had a real good game and, and then the big Russian Mark Jamar just you know late setting the, setting the standard with the boys with, with his physicality and and kicking a couple of goals was sensational so oh look Jamar hasn't he settled in fantastic into the team no he's he's brilliant he uh, he, he really drives high expectations out on the ground and amongst the team, So, um, and they just jump on board with him, and, and uh, he's a great acquisition to our group, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic, Luke. Thanks for that. Now, listen, uh, we want to get all our members to our, and all our viewers as well who wants to see a great game of football. We've got the grand final in two weeks' time at Sour Oval. Uh, hopefully the Oval, Oval's up to scratch. Yeah, yeah, no, we're hoping. We're hoping. We're not sure about that. But no, look, it's a grand final, so you play them anywhere, don't you, Baz? So, uh, no, get on board, Kanga Mob, and uh, yeah, get down there and, and, and even to training. We love having a bit of a... We had a good crowd there Thursday night, so get, a, get around the boys and, and uh, yeah, it's exciting, exciting times. Thanks again, mate. Well done. Great effort today. Great effort by the boys. That's Kanga TV for today. See you, mate.